I've chosen Peace at Last as my bedtime story as it's one of my favourites. The hour was late. Mr Bear was tired, Mrs Bear was tired and Baby Bear was tired. So they all went to bed. Mrs Bear fell asleep. Mr Bear didn't. Mrs Bear began to snore. Shh, went Mrs Bear. Shh, shh. Oh no, said Mr Bear. I can't stand this. So he got up and went to sleep in Baby Bear's room. Baby Bear was not asleep either. He was lying in bed pretending to be an aeroplane. Went Baby Bear. Oh no, said Mr Bear. I can't stand this. So he got up and he went to sleep in the living room. Tick, tock, went the living room clock. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Oh no, said Mr Bear, I can't stand this. So off he went to sleep in the kitchen. Drip, drip, went the leaky kitchen tap. Mm, went the refrigerator. Oh no, said Mr Bear, I can't stand this. So he got up and he went to sleep in the garden. Well, you would not believe what noises there are in the garden at night. Twit twoo, twit twoo, went the owl. <laughs> went the hedgehog. Meow, sang the cats on the wall. Oh no, said Mr Bear, I can't stand this. So he went off to sleep in the car. It was cold in the car and uncomfortable, but Mr Bear was so tired that he didn't notice. He was just falling asleep when all the birds started to sing and the sun peeped in at the window. Tweet, tweet, went the birds. Shine, shine, went the sun. Oh no, said Mr Bear, I can't stand this. So he got up and he went back into the house. In the house, Baby Bear was fast asleep and Mrs Bear had turned over and wasn't snoring anymore. Mr Bear got into bed and closed his eyes. Peace at last, he said to himself. <coughs> Went the alarm clock. <coughs> Mrs Bear sat up and rubbed her eyes. Good morning, dear, she said. Did you sleep well? Mm, not very well, dear, yawned Mr Bear. Never mind, says Mrs Bear, I'll bring you a nice cup of tea. And she did. Good night, everybody.